Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to go from this velocity versus time graph into the position versus time graph over here. So to do that, what we need to do is to find the area underneath the curve for the velocity versus time graph gives us the displacement or the position. So starting out at two seconds, so the area under the curve for right here, this little square, we have two by three, so it's six. So at two, we'll start out at zero right here. And then at two seconds, we're up here at six meters. And then it's moving at a constant velocity. So obviously this is the same area here. We have another two by three, so it's on another six. So at seconds four, it'll be at 12. So right there. And then at six seconds, we have another six. So it's going up to 18 meters. So now when we look at the graph, it jumps down to zero meters per second, meaning it's standing still because this is the velocity versus time graph. So the velocity is zero. So from six to eight, it stays in the exact same spot. So it's right there, 18 meters. And then from eight to 10, it goes down to negative two meters per second. And so that is a two by two. So it goes down four. So from 18 minus four, that's 14 meters right there. Now you can draw a line to kind of give you a better idea to visually represent what's happening. So this is part A, the velocity versus time graph to the position versus time graph. And now for part B, they say, what is the position of the mailbox? So for part B, they want us to find what the position of the mailbox is. And there's two ways that you can do that. The first one is we just made the position versus time graph. So you say in the question, the mailman overshoots it, shifts into reverse, then backs up until he is right at the right spot. So he's at the mailbox when he ends. He ends at 10 seconds and the position there is 14. So 14 meters. The second way that you can do it is to add all of the areas under the positive curve and then add all the areas under the negative curve. So up here we had three sec sections of six. So that is 18 for the top positive area under the curve. And then we had the negative four area under the negative curve. So a negative four meters. So the position is again, same thing, 14 meters for part B.